We can go back to Spark Mantle now. Is this one of the games where I can select the four Sigma stages individually? I wonder. Or am I going to have to get a game over in the Sigma stages after I come out with the arm part? There's the E-Tank. Lovely. Get our new password. Okay, I guess now it's on to Flame Mammoth, because now we can cut his tusk off. And this stage has three goodies in it, but we can only take two. We cannot take the arm part. If you skip the arm part in this stage, uh, Zero gives you his arm part later in the game. Also, if for some reason you come here before Chill Penguin, this is all on fire and the stage is basically super difficult. So that's where the arm part is, up through there. In fact, all, all of the goodies in this level are right in this big room. Good luck trying to get that if the floor is not frozen. And then over here should be our last sub-tank. That's all of them, right? That's all of them. Nice. Okay. Back through this big room once again. Feels so strange not having the arm part at this point. Just skip through many of the rooms in this level. Don't have to worry about conveyor belts. Don't have to worry about crushers. There is a big mammoth at the end that we do have to worry about. And dripping acid, apparently. Oh, iframes. I'm the iframe wizard. Once again. Alright, let's cut off a man's nose. It does kind of suck that in my rotation, the order that I do the bosses in, I get the armor very, very late. Because <laughs> I fight Sting Chameleon basically last. There goes his nose. There's I got the Chivo for the nose. Uh, I'm going to drink part of the sub-tank, I guess. Whoops. I got to push the button on this screen. What am I doing? Really wish they had invented Air Dash before this game. Alright, so goodbye, Flay Mammoth, after we have emasculated his face. Beautiful. So now we can go back to Chill Penguin. And there's a goodie we can get now that we have the flame weapon. That is Chill Penguin's weakness, but I have never had much luck trying to fight him with it. It's always, always been easier for me to fight Chill Penguin. Oh, it was just the X-Buster. Like, typically a Mega Man game will design one of the, the Mavericks in the X-Series or the Robot Masters in the original series uh, to be pretty easy just with your base weapon. Specifically because you do have to fight one of them with the base weapon. 
And in this game, that's just chill penguin. I kind of like that a couple of the Mavericks are very tricky if you don't have the, uh... The proper armor parts, though. Like, Storm Eagle without boots is just... Whoo! Not recommended. That's what I'll say. That same hole! It's always the same holes. Oh, let me out. Let me through. I want that. We're trying to fill up the drink, too, as we go. I've been using my, uh... Sub tanks a little more liberally than I usually do. But if we go up here. And equip Fireball Wang. Heart tank. So there's one heart tank left. And it's in Sting Chameleon. And then the only other thing we need to get. No, there's two heart tanks left. One in Sting Chameleon. We didn't get the one from. Boomer Kuwanger yet. I think after we defeat the first Sigma stage, it'll take us back to the stage select, and then we have to pick Sigma again to go to the second Sigma stage. I believe that's the case. Sometimes I believe things that aren't true. Sometimes I don't believe things that are true. Uh, okay, so there's two things we got to get here. First, we'll go down here and get this. Uh, how does this work? Where's my dash? There we go. In X2 and 3, you can, like, jump across the... Oh, I forgot to jump. Uh, you can kind of skip across the top of the water. As though Mega Manix is your lord and savior, performing a miracle. Oh, I just tried to air dash over that monster. Guess how well that went for me. Now, I don't know if this monster up here has a weakness or not. I always just fight it with the arm cannon and it takes forever. Maybe we'll try using Storm Eagle. Looks like we're getting one hit in. Oh, that was three. Oh, nope. I did not enjoy that. Does he even knock you off the wall if you if he lands? No. That tends to not happen in X1, I guess. This was before they made sure every single boss had a direct answer for... <laughs> I can just do this. Yeah, some bosses just don't have an answer for... Wall jumping. I'll just run out all my weapon energy. He is getting damaged a little bit. He's starting to smoke. Oh, you can hit him in the butt, too, when he jumps. They come around the, uh... From below. Okay, so we're out of that. I don't want to use this up, because it's the boss weakness. Does this drop down? No. I like the arc on it, though. I just put it right on his stupid head. Come on, buddy. I don't even have to aim it, really. Just as long as I'm above him when I use it. Nice, generous hurt box. Is he smoking more, or is that just my imagination? Shouldn't smoke anyway, it's not good for your robot lungs. 
Which I imagine is just like an air purifier. Like, Dr. Light has to go in every couple of months and change out the filter on Mega Man's robot lungs. Gets all filled with lint and crud, Cheeto dust. Is there a smarter way to fight this boss? I don't know, and I'm, I refuse to find out. But now I have armor. And now enemies just won't kill me when they touch me. There's no Nova Strike yet in this game. That's not a thing until X2. Alright, screen. There we go. Took it a minute to remember what we were doing. I'll take the free life. Thank you. So, when we get to the first Sigma stage, we'll either get the achievement for having full armor, or if getting Zero's cannon doesn't count as getting an armor piece, we're going to have to do a partial replay of this game, just to get the four capsules. Which means fighting that guy again. Won't that be lovely? I've got ride armor. I can just tank all this stupid damage now. Farewell! And then Stink Chameleon is one of the- Oh, I jumped out of my right armor, that's not good. At least I did it at the end of the level and not before that last right armor guy. The thing to understand about the Boomerang Cutter is if you fire it on the ground, it cycles upward. If you fire it in the air, it cycles downward. So you can't get more height by giving it an upward hor or upward vertical arc by jumping into the air. It doesn't work that way. So we're just going to hit him with it, and then hit him with it, and then hit him with it, and this is it. In fact, this weapon's kind of cool because... If you use it and it doesn't hit anything, it cycles back to you and you get the point of weapon energy back. That doesn't happen with any other boomerang weapons in the series, like the Quick Boomerang and Mega Man 2. Which has functionally infinite ammo anyway. I think you get like nine shots to one peg of weapon energy. Does Mega Man measure his weapon energy in pegs? I like to think so. All right, Zero. We're in this together, buddy. I'm gonna rip your arm off. There's a section of this level... Oh, this whole first section of the level is gonna be a big pain in the butt without Sting Chameleon's... ...charged weapon. Where's my tornado? Tornado! Thank you. Ooh, two for one. Take some free health. So I still got one more heart to look forward to as well. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a big pain in the butt. I'm going to... I guess... Just try to be careful. The problem is enemies can knock me off these platforms as I'm climbing up. And... The background makes it difficult to tell when you're moving and when you're not, or what platforms are, like, moving towards you, or when they stop moving, even. It's a lot easier to do if you are invincible. Ugh. There we go. Why did I do that? Where's my dash? Okay, 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 you know what? No, that was just a practice run. We're gonna do better next time. <laughs> It's fine. 
Where does the second one end? Oh! I almost skipped the whole platform there. Because if you get into a situation where you kind of have to chase after your platform and then it moves out from under you because you're wall jumping alongside the edge of it. Like that! Like exactly what happened to me there. So, if you have the arm part already because you took it from Flame Mammoth's level, you just use the Chameleon Sting here and you get invincibility. That's what that weapon does. We will be making judicious use of it later on. Well, we're filling up the drink while we're here. Whatever. Do, are any of my other weapons going to help me out here? I don't really think so. Cause the problem isn't... killing these creatures. The problem is... Well, I don't know. They only take one homing torpedo. So maybe this was a little bit better. Yeah, you know what? I do like this. I just put homing torpedo on the screen. Alright, I liked it. Homing torpedo got me there, in the end. We do have to fight two of the bosses in this level, but I'm not sure which ones they are. I mean, two of the Mavericks. Uh, instead of getting, like, a refight room filled with teleporters at the end, you just fight them during these levels. We should be coming up on them. Shortly after the Vial situation. What is Vile weak to in this game? Should I even try to hit a weakness? I might just drink a bunch of sub-tanks. Oh, right, you just stand in front of him. And then he tries to punch you. And if you time it right, which I haven't done once in the whole fight yet. It's like right after his... ...dash is over. Oh, maybe you can't do much better than that in this, in this part of the fight because you have to lose. Like, is Zero gonna give me a health refill here? Maybe if he gets a health bar, I will just cycle through the weapons real quick and see if I can pull a weakness out of my hat. Yeah, it does give me a health refill. And then he should get a health bar. Coming torpedo? Okay, I like it. First one I try. It's always nice when it's the first one you try. Man, they'll get him eventually. That one went way off screen, like deep elsewhere in the level, and then it turned back to this zip code and came on home. Alright, Zero. Sorry, buddy. Gonna rip your arm off now. Do I get the Chivo for this? I do. Pop up for the achievement. First armor. And I have to destroy a Maverick with this shot specifically. So, here's what we're going to do. Because screw trying to do this room correctly. <laughs> no thank you. In fact, this whole area we're going to Cheese ball, why wouldn't you? Just 
Just make life easy on yourself, you know? Whoops. Alright, which two bosses are we fighting in here? Boomer Kruanger. So what we'll do is we will... Hit him with homing torpedoes. You know what? I don't want to try to get saucy with Boomerang Kuanger here. Do I? Am I going to be able to... Oh, there we go. There's an achievement for that. Nice. So the other games have an achievement for killing a Maverick with a Nova Strike, which usually you get with your armor parts. But this game doesn't have a Nova Strike, so I guess that was the next best thing. Long level, lots of bosses. I must have known at some point to use Homing Torpedo on Vile. Okay, who is the first boss? It is the spider who likes shotgun ice, if I recall correctly. Oh, cool, we got the fists up pose. That's hard to do. I'm bad at it. All right, I got to pay real attention, real close attention to where this spider is going to come down. Or else that happens. So this one's going to be easy. Okay. Very good. Oh, guessed wrong. I'm trying not to guess, but you only have like a second. Fired a little too early there. Actually, you can wait until the thing hits the floor to fire. And have plenty of time to deal the damage. That one was easy. Thanks for that. This one, too. Or that happens. Alright, so much for Web Spider. Oh, that'd be a terrible X challenge level. Web Spider plus that guy at the same time. That's all X Challenge is, is you fight two Mavericks at once. That's it. And you have to do it like a hundred times. Uh, okay, I'm going to save here, just in case I have to redo the Sigma levels for some reason. Shoutouts to Narishim for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video and you want to see more, please tickle my thumb, leave a friendly comment, and ring my little bell.